All right, so break time's over, and this is my Survivor episode, guys. All right, hi guys, so welcome to my show today. For today's video, I'm gonna be going to one of my previous work. Um, it's a succulent and plants company in downtown LA, but now since with all the quarantine and stuff, they kind of moved in-house and they've been focusing on online selling. Quick backstory, I used to work there as a, as a product photographer and for social media and marketing. So I do a bunch of designs and pictures and social media postings and whatnot. So today, I'm just gonna be going over there taking photos. So it's gonna be um, a very photo-centric episode. I don't know why I look like I'm going to the amazing race. And before we start, make sure to hit that like button to subscribe and to comment along the way if anything you find interesting or some other topics you want me to cover. So yeah, let's just, let's begin. So I'm here and it's hot. All right, so now I'm here on location and my task today is to do product photography for all these beautiful succulents and plants. I have to set up of how the pictures are gonna look. So I'm just gonna go through the process of how I do that and we're gonna see how we pull off some of these photos that you see on Instagram or in listings and eBay and Etsy and all that stuff. So first step is find a bright place. For this shoot, we're gonna go with natural light since there's a lot of sun, it's open. I'm looking at a place where the sun's gonna be constant for, for a few hours, so the light's not gonna change so much. Upon further testing, I think I'm just gonna go shoot in a much higher space and just set it up here so I don't have to bend down. So I'm just gonna set the panels here, make it bigger, and just probably grab a chair and shoot higher if needed. At least if I'm shooting something close, I don't have to bend down or the angle is consistent and I have a tripod. So I'm just gonna set it up right here and I'll be right back. For this set, I'm gonna change to my kit lens, 1855, the 2.8 to 4.0. One of the best kit lens you could find in any body system. At least that's what they say, and I wholeheartedly agree. All right, so usually my process for these types of projects is especially if I have a goal, which is first is product photos to be listed you know, on sites. So I have to take the top shot and do the creative shots after. So I'm gonna lay it down. I'm gonna spray it with some water and yeah, get the best photos as we can. And yeah, and the next step is the creative. So I'm just gonna select one each of the best looking plant. And we're just gonna try to present it in a creative way. So apparently I wasn't rec recording. So as I was saying before, after I take these product photos, I'm gonna be taking establishing shots, most mostly like the setting of where all these plants are. Like it, it reminds me a lot of Philippines, you know, just a lot of grass and trees, and especially back in the province, you know, all these, if, I'm not sure you can see. There's just all these, all these trees everywhere. All right, so gotta get back to work. So when you're shooting outside, especially under the sun, you have to be careful about your cameras because they get overheat. So right now it's becoming very hot. You gotta keep shooting. I mean, that's what the cameras are for. They have safety precautions so they're gonna turn off if they can't shoot anymore. So I'm definitely testing it to its limit, so. All right, so when shooting landscapes like this, you wanna stand in one corner and just shoot steady, like, standing in that corner and it gives you a visibility of everything all right so we're mostly done shooting so i just want to do like a quick video of playing with the dji so like i'm gonna make it seem like a drone so i just want to hover over it see what we can come up with creatively so i have it on my phone and we're just gonna quickly fly over it Last 
lastly, I forgot to shoot something creative with these guys. So I'm just gonna shoot something real quick, just throw it in the top and just take photos. So first we're gonna take individual, then group them together. Well, time's running out, so I'm just gonna be quick with what I can do. Alright, I think that's a wrap up for today. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, give it a like, subscribe, and let me see what type of content you want to see from me more. That's a lot of seeing, but yes, see me more often. Alright guys. Alright, so we're done with the shoot. It's so hot, but I think I want to set up a time lapse of me driving because that's what I do. Time lapse is time lapse. I'm just gonna set it up again here with the DJI Osmo and we're gonna go. But it's so hot, so time lapse right here in three, two, time lapse. Alright, that's it guys, don't forget to like and to subscribe.